All right, this is Chaotic Crypto, where we defy tyranny. Your source for everything crypto. All right. So, been a few days. I apologize, but I've been completely overworked. Sunday I worked a 13-hour day, and yesterday I worked like a 12-hour day. It's just been really crazy. So, bear with me. I'm, you know, I have a full-time job trying to do crypto. Had I made better decisions last cycle, I would not be having to work this job, but whatever you live and you learn. Um, good news today. So Jerome Powell basically gave his confirma bullish confirmation that things are looking better. Now, when they are getting all bullish, I start to get a little worried, especially when people get on the news and start hyping everything up. Like, well, we could have a correction of some sort. Um, I, I really think the bottom is in. But when everyone gets all hype and everyone's talking about this golden cross, it's when a couple of moving averages cross over. I'd get into that right now, but I'm not going to. But basically, there's just a lot of hype in the market. And when that happens, just expect a correction. And it might not be that bad. Like, you know, a, a pretty bullish correction right here on the 4-hour, 21K. Uh, let's look at the daily. This would probably be the most likely area for cor a correction would be 19, 19 to 20. So, like, we could get a uh, maybe a little bit of a bullish up and then a, 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 a quick correction, uh, kind of a leverage wipeout because everyone's starting to get a little bit bullish. Though on the leverage charts... It's not looking too over uh, exhausted, but I will say if this starts getting yellow into the yellow, and that would be around the eight to nine, nine, eight to nine billion open interest. Um, that would be kind of a, a cautionary signal to me. Also, uh, crypto fear and green index did pull back a little. They were back in neutral, so yeah, yeah, I, I could see a lot, of, a lot of case for us getting another move up. Also, the daily RSI is very oversold. We got to a pretty low level. Level we hadn't seen since June, which is interesting. It's a, it's a really, I think we're going to get another pull up, but we are getting um, regular RSI bearish divergence, which price went up, but we're actually getting a uh, correction down. So doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's just there is something to look at there. The four hour I was going to look at, let's see, I was going to look. Yeah, see, we're getting kind of this, we have this trend here on the RSI on the four hour. It's not very obvious, but it's obvious that it is obvious that we're getting kind of have some resistance here. So, likely a pullback coming on the four hour, which could be, bring us back down to the 22 or some of these other areas of 22. And there's also another resistance here 21. And if we take Fibonacci, 0.618 retrace. This would be very a violent correction, but it's kind of what I'm thinking might happen in 19.5 into this into this area. Again, that pulls us back onto the 200-day moving average. Let's look at the uh, weekly. A lot of times, this will also correspond. And we're we're still fighting to get above this 200 weekend. That is a major one. We get above that. We're, we're really looking really good for a bar, for for a bull market, but it's, it's providing us resistance, and it, it makes more sense that we kind of come down, cool off, and then come back, and that would be very bullish. I mean, for a for a, uh, a crypto spring that's really bullish, I think we need February to be a cool off, pull back, reassess, and on the weekly, I mean, we are getting a cross here on the stochastic RSI. That's a pretty violent cross. But it doesn't necessarily mean like we can get these things like this where we kind of come back up and that, that would be another few weeks of bullish activity. But again, I just think it's better that we pull back. We also have the RSI moving average here. Pull back to 41 would be very, very bullish, I think. So I, I, to me, it just it would be better if we pulled back. And all, it, but all that's going to depend on the um, stock market and stuff like that. But, it's just interesting that Jerem came out. Like this, the, the tone is so different than last year. There's just a lot of bullish optimism out there, and that's something to be wary of. But it's also just like that sentiment's going to grow, and I just think it's going to be it's going to be a much better year than last year. I think 2024 might be a really good year. So, and also there's a huge uh, AI narrative uh, projects like Singularity, Fetch AI. Um, there's a whole slew of them, but uh, they're they're going crazy. Like some of them, uh, 
some of them went up like hundreds of percents, like 50%, 75%. Ocean was another one. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Uh, render. Uh, graph. Graph really ripped. Um, you just be wary. Like, they really, really ripped today. So just be a... You don't want to buy them when they're ripping. You want to pull out, get them on a pullback. Like, here's the... Here's graph right here. This is Crypto Bubbles. It's a really cool little site. Shows you what's kind of going on. Um, really, really handy, I think. But you see a project. Wow, where is it at? Twenty-two cents. All right, I want to. So what? I, what I do? What I'm going to do is take some of that profit and move it over um, into something that's red, or like maybe even just Bitcoin, or even the U.S. dollar, or something like that. So. Magic, I don't have any of that, but it's interesting. Render, totally, totally kicking. Optimism has been another good one. It's just, I'm just DCAing on, on these, but when they pop, pump this much, like, probably a good idea to just take a little bit of profit. AGIX, I, oh, that's the singularity. Good God, that thing's moving. Yeah, just be careful when they, when they rip like this. <laughs> I mean, look at that. You, you know, you don't, you want to buy on a pullback or something. That's just, that's amazing. That's, a, that's amazing to rip that much. I was actually trying to look into trying to start dollar cost averaging on it. The Coinbase doesn't have it, and neither does Crypto.com. And uh, I did notice uh, Voyager news today. Voyager is a, uh, they sent down an email asking customers to divert their assets into Binance, or I guess start an account process of that. Which is pretty bullish. I'm pretty pissed still that I'm not getting 100% of my assets. Maybe I will, but I heard 60 to 70 percent, and that's absolutely ridiculous. And someone needs to hang for that. So I'm just saying, um, Celsius is still a shit show. God knows when that ends. Hopefully soon, but I, it's just such a mess. It's probably gonna be a while. <sighs> it just sucks. Um, <laughs> what else to talk about? Yeah, um, I keep on talking about the, uh, if this thing will load, I don't know why it didn't load. Yeah, let's just see where we're at on the VPVR. I keep on talking about this area. We need to get above, I think, 23.5 or 24. Wow, well, we are finding support here at 22. But we, again, we could fall as far as 19 and 20 and still be supported and still be able to make a, a run for 28. To 30k by by spring, maybe even 38. I, I see that as a move. I, I see us consolidating a little longer here and pulling up. But maybe we pull up more than that now. If we if we just completely rip up, just expect us to come right back down to like 20 to 22, 23k. If we rip up to 30, just you must just have to expect it. And it might go to 38. It might go completely crazy, kind of like uh, I mean, if we were repeat the 20. 18, 2019 cycle when that disbelief rally started, we'd be going up to 48, I believe, from a percentage standpoint. So, just gotta be ready. But I mean, if that happens, just don't FOMO. You gotta like just dollar cost average and when you stack some powder for when they do get that big, you know, drawdown, which more than likely summer will be a lull. Uh, I don't, don't want to guarantee anything, just the way things happen in the summer times with stocks and everything. Summertime is always slow. Everyone, the traders are out vacationing. There's just not much volume. Things pull back, and that's just how it is. But spring will probably rally. And then whenever it comes back in the summer, fall into winter, it usually gets bullish again. So we'll probably see this pattern happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to you just just expect a I think we're on like a quick like kind of washout. It might be a quick wick. Get all the traders out. Get down to twenty. Hopefully, we get a nineteen k. Wipe out that CME gap. Ninety six percent of those CME gaps get taken. So it's just better to get it now instead of like over the summer. So like I was saying. So hopefully that happens. But things are looking good. All coins are looking good. I'm really, I'm really kind of pleased with what's going on. Um, I'm gonna add a total three. I'm kind of curious, actually, about DeFi market. I want to see what's going on with the DeFi space. 
This is a quick, so this is the D5 market cap. Interesting, interesting. Man. We just gotta get above that 200 a week. If you get above that, it's off to the races. Oh man, I think D5 is gonna make a huge move. Look at the volume, it's just like, it's just coiling up. It's ready to fucking pop. Link will be probably, uh, yeah, chain link will probably be an indicator as to what happens there. Chain links are popping. That's probably apparently the last time what happened in 2020. The DeFi spring link popped, and then everything else did. So look at projects like Aave. Here's Ethereum as well by default. Um, link band was a was another version of link basically. And the reason we did get that pullback is because the uh, U.S. dollar index pumped. See, we get this big pump right here. Probably short lived, but we probably kind of jump around in here. But it's possible we just go down, you know, down this 200 week moving average and just consolidate for a couple of years until we get another crisis. But that, that's the reason why you kind of got you got this reprieve. But overall, looks like a giant head and shoulders. Do a little, a little experiment here. If I can find the head and shoulders pattern. Uh, here we go. If it will allow me. Oh, hold on. Let's, yeah. Is this how this is still looking? There we go. So, yeah, it's sort of a head and shoulders pattern. And when those happen, actually, it'd be even worse. You take the uh, measured move. This would be so like bullish for Bitcoin, but also bearish as hell for crypto or for uh, the dollar. But the measured move on that, <laughs> this could be where we see the U.S. dollar over the next couple of years, all the way back down to the support level, which would make sense actually, or maybe it's something like that. I mean, that's, that's interesting. That is the measured move, though. I mean, it looks like we're making a head and shoulders pattern. So, uh, I think assets are going to run. 2022 is pretty brutal on everything. Anyways, Zillica is finally ripping. Yes, I love my Zillica. Oh my gosh, and it's like pumping up. Yes. Sorry, I just like, I love my Zillica. It's just. Yes, that's so awesome. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. That's interesting. It's not. Is it making. Hmm. It's kind of making a larger wedge pattern, though. So it could still end quite badly. Still with a retest of um, 20 cents. Hmm. Nice. You can stake that for 15% on Atomic Wallet. And speaking of Atomic, Atom slash Cosmos, get 22% on that with uh, Atomic Wallet and Exodus Wallet. I like Exodus Wallet, it's a little smoother, but Atomic has a lot more options for staking. And you can find links to that on my page below. By the way, please hit the subscribe and like, comment, uh, anything, suggestions, tell your friends. Uh, basically, what I've been getting in the habit of here lately, I do a little technical analysis. I speak my mind and talk about what I'm hearing with, with events and everything like that. Um, I try to be quick. Sometimes I ramble. I like to ramble more, but I'm busy. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Appreciate it. And we'll try to do this again tomorrow. I should be able to. Uh, but if anything big happens, uh, we'll let you know. But yeah, just expect to pull back. It'd be okay, you know? All right, peace.